Um, so I'll give you like a really brief kind of run over like what the story is. So essentially there's this rainbow fish who's like really great and really pretty and stuff. Um, and all these other fish are like, oi, you've got all these amazing scales that we don't have, that seems unfair, can we have one? And the rainbow fish is like, well, no, like, they're, they're my scales. And then, like, basically, no one wants to hang out with him anymore, which is me. And so then he, like, goes and talks to a starfish, and then he goes and talks to an octopus, because that's what you do when you need advice and help. Um, and the octopus is like, you should probably just give them one of your scales. And so the fish is like, oh, okay, like that feels weird, but I guess I'll do that. And goes back and like gives their scales to all of the other fish until they all look exactly the same and they all just have one rainbow scale and then they live happily ever after. Which is like a really interesting message. Like take from it what you will. Um, I think if we're talking about like wealth and someone who has like lots of money and like redistributing it across the masses is probably a great idea. Um, but the shiny scale seems to be like a part of his identity and like who he is. So the idea of like just giving it to everyone so that they look exactly the same seems kind of sucky. Um, so that's the message of the story. I wrote my own, well actually no, sorry, I didn't write my own. I went and spoke to the rainbow fish about it and wanted to get their perspective on the legends. Um, and it turns out that like, not that I'm surprised, uh, the rainbow fish was really wrongly misrepresented, they were misgendered, um, and the journalist that wrote their story actually did it wrong. So I asked them to write their own story instead. They told me that they used their own pronouns as well, um, which people and fish don't really understand. Um, and yeah, it was written like the story was written without their consent, and it really isn't accurate. Uh, so this is the story that they wrote that is the oh, more correct version. Okay. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but a rainbow fish. Their scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were confused by the other fish's beauty. Why do you get to have all the colours of the rainbow, when the rest of us only get one each? They asked. Because I am a queen, the rainbow fish replied, gliding past the shimmery scales. The other fish didn't understand them, but rainbow fish knew that they were beautiful. I don't like that rainbow fish. Bluefish said to Pink. He acts like he's better than us. Yeah, she's no better than we are just because she has more colours. Seems like it's just greedy, said Blue. The fish decided to exclude rainbow fish from their fishy activities. They no, no longer invited them to their pool parties or to explore the edge of the reef. Rainbow fish ended up spending a lot of time on their own, trying to remind themselves that they are still beautiful. One day, Bluefish followed after Rainbow Fish. Oi, Rainbow Fish, he called. Rainbow Fish sped up, feeling a little bit nervous. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. You've got so many. Surely you can spare just one. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the Rainbow Fish. Get away from me. The little Bluefish was angry. He was not used to not getting what he wanted. He told all his friends what had happened, and from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They called him a freak, and it, and a monster. Rainbow fish felt alone and afraid. They had never realized they were so different. They were just busy being themselves. But now, they were the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. They heard from a starfish about a wise octopus that lived in a deep, dark cave beyond the coral reef. So rainbow fish went out to seek her help. The rainbow fish saw a shimmering rainbow in the ocean and followed it until they found the cave. It was very dark inside and they couldn't see anything. Suddenly, a big pair of eyes stared back at rainbow fish from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story and now it is time to tell you mine. I have lived in these waters for many years, longer than some of the coral growing on that roof. She extended a long tentacle and pointed to the ancient seaweed swimming in the current. All my life, I was surrounded by octopi that were able to camouflage. My family, my friends, could change colour whenever they wanted and blend into their surroundings. But I never could. I was laughed at, taunted, bullied. I tried everything to make them like me, to make them like me, but I just couldn't blend in. So I came up to this cave. In the darkness, I can disappear. It's not quite camouflage, but it's all I've got. 
So you think I should give away my scales? Remember Fisher asked? Blend in and be like everyone else because I can? Not all of us have the option to blend in. I spent a long time trying and never could, which is why I live here in this dark cave. If giving away your scales means we'll be like everyone else and treated the same, then you should give up. Throw away your pride. The octopus disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Rainbow fish returned to the roof with a single colour fish slime. Bluefish appeared and said, Oh, you've returned. Ready to give me one?